Ekalaka, Montana. Home to rolling hills and buttes, unique landscapes and friendly people. It's also home to St. Elizabeth Lutheran Church. It's a church that's never had the problem of confusing the concept of a church with the building it worships in. The St. Elizabeth Church has always been known for its community involvement through its youth group, whether it's painting buildings or benches that need a new coat, or car washes or bake sales to fundraise the money to help defray the cost of community members that have unexpected surgeries or have lost their house to a fire. Or maybe a food drive to help keep the town's food bank stocked. Whatever it is, we're always more than happy to share the gifts that God gave us to lend a hand. And the church is always open to those who are interested, wherever we may be worshiping at the time. You see, St. Elizabeth Lutheran Church has had to worship in numerous places. First, we worshiped in a funeral home before it was destroyed by an unfortunate fire. Then we juggled schedules so we could worship in the Catholic Church when the Catholics weren't using it. And then likewise in the Gospel Tabernacle. Currently, we share a space above the town library in the local Masonic Temple. It's an older building with about as much temperature control as Montana itself. Sometimes coats must be left on during service in the winter. And in the summertime, the congregation discovers that the inserts in the bulletin can also serve as a fan. But none of that stops the people from coming. Every Sunday morning finds people warming up their metal chairs, which also make the limited space more versatile for potlucks and meetings. But the people of the St. Elizabeth Lutheran Church are looking to start a new chapter. In the past 21 years, we have had four church homes and nine pastors. We are so excited to know that God is providing us with a true home of our own. Some churches in the Montana Synod have already donated generously toward our building fund, and their hope on us has made this bigger step possible. We're asking for prayers of support, patience, and trust in the Lord. And if you wish to donate to our mission in the corner of southeastern Montana, thank you and God bless.